Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Fabric series and in today's video we are going to discuss some commands on the notebooks which can enable you to see the Power BI content or visualize a data frames data into Power BI. So let's jump out of the Microsoft Fabric. So I am here on app.powerbi.com and from here I'll open a workspace and the workspace which I plan to open is 01GA Fabric and in this workspace what I've already done is I've already created a notebook and that notebook I'm trying to open so let me filter on the type and using the type filter I'll filter a notebook and in the notebooks I'm going to open the notebook PBI commands the notebook is open and I'm going to select a lake house lake house 02 which I've uh, selected at the time of creation of this notebook and here I'm able to see that now I would like to run commands commands to bring in a power BI report so how can we bring in a power BI report in a notebook for that the cook we what we have to do is from PBI client import report so we have to import the report from the PBI client so that package we need then we need the report ID I'll tell you how to get the report ID and then we need to call in this report function this report function will use the report which we have imported group ID is nothing but your workspace ID and a report ID now workspace ID is pretty much visible here on the top so this is your workspace ID which I have already used as you can see here and now I need a report ID now to get the report ID what you have to do is to open the report so I am opening the report on a different tab so I am opening the report on the different tab workspaces and the report is also in 01 GA fabric let me filter on report and in the report I want to open report for viewer once the report start opening in the URL you would be able to see this report and post that the report ID So reports and post that you will see this report ID you can copy this and paste it into the report ID argument so this is what I pasted now finally we have to run this report to visualize the report so let me run this for the first time it is going to start the spark session and the language which I'm using right now is PySpark Python so let me run the cell so report has been visualized inside the notebook and as you can see this notebook has come with all the slicers on the page as well as the filter region and this is not a static report let's say if I click on the city all other visuals are responding same way I can go to the brand and can filter a brand so this is basically the power bi report embedded inside your no notebook area and you can analyze your content here itself so instead of going to the power bi report if you are a notebook and you want to analyze you can do it here now the second thing which I wanted to tell you today how to create a report or how to quickly visualize a report using a Spark data frame. So for that what we are doing is we are creating this SDF using spark.sql which is going to create a Spark data frame. I'm, I'm selecting a table retail data underscore fabric by giving the SQL select star from lake 02 retail data underscore fabric and I'm limiting 10,000 rows. Please remember I tried out in this full data and it was giving me memory error so I've reduced the number of rows. Now after that I'm calling this from PBI client import quick visualize and get data set config these are the two things which we are going to use quick visualize and get data set config and as you can see in the line below we are doing this PBI visual equals to quick visualize get data set config SDF it is our data frame and then we are using this PBI visualize which is actually going to visualize your data so here there is a data in the data frame and we are trying to visualize that this is the same retail data what we have configured above this is cut down version of the same so let me run this to visualize this the report is ready and has been visualized and as you can see this function pbi underscore visualize has created a report using a data frame which is on the retail data now there is a report which has been created let's try to check is it interacting yes it is interacting and based on the selection of sub sub categories the other things are changing so it has visualized sub sub categories so this has visualized it and it has given us your data on the right hand side let's see what happens if we change so let me click on the brand here and once I click on the brand you see that there is some changes in the visualization here but let me go and uncheck sub category and see what happens now it is visualizing the things by brand so I see a few visuals by brand and few by sub category now and sub sub category also let me filter on the brand and as you can see the other visuals are responding so it has already used a major and if we want we can try to select something else let's select gross sales what happens so it has sum of gross sales again it has changed the visuals little bit to adjust to our selection let's remove discount percentage what happens 
it created a different kind of visual so based on your selections it do create different kind of visuals which you can use and analyze your data with so seem like a pretty good option if you want to quickly visualize your data and you are the one who want to do it in a power bi style you don't want the display of a data set which we is available as a pi spark command and you don't want that you want power bi kind of a style and so you can use that so we can click on show data table and if we scroll down you will be able to see the complete data in a table format this is my data which has came and then we have an option to save this report so we can click and save this report see this is creating a name of the file pbix and in the workspace so it's going to create kind of a model for you let's try that out let's say data check py and let's save it is 01 ga fabric workspace continue it is saving the file so it's giving a message your report has been saved open the file in power bi view to edit and get shareable link let's click on this i clicked on it and it's open and it into a new window we can see that report and then there is a save option and we can further go ahead and edit this particular report yes i want to edit this and i can add a new page where i can go and analyze this data by let's say category by gross sales and I can go back to the page one and save this. Now it will become a two page report. So if the report has been saved with a new page. Now let's go to the workspace and see what do we see in this workspace inside the report. So I'm back onto the workspace and let us see how it's created this. So we have the report and let's add the semantic model also. As you can see, there is a semantic model which is created and the report which has been also created here. So in this manner, this Python command, PySpark command can help you in creating a report and saving it also on a particular data. Now, what we can also do here is that we can also analyze a data coming in a Pandas data frame. So if you remember, I have this file on my GitHub, which is is data used in Fabric this data for fabric.xls so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to bring in these files and i'm trying to bring in the sales sheet from there what you are doing import pandas as pd then we are reading the read excel giving the sheet name and the same things what we have done above from power bi client import quick visualize and get data set config and here now in the quick visualize get data set config we are giving the df the pandas data frame and you are using pbi visualize and we are then rendering the report using pbi visualize and let's run this now this time what we are doing is we are not getting the data from the lake we're not reading the table and getting the spark data frame we have read the table from the outside we got this pandas data frame so it's creating the report do it has given an error but still it is creating a report let's see yes it is able to create a report and as we can see it has selected few parameters on your data and based on that that report has been generated and if needed we can go ahead and modify it we can save it just like we have done previously and can also modify it in this manner you can not only bring your power bi report onto the notebook but you can also create a data set visualize it on the power bi using the power bi client for the notebook and then you can save it to create the power bi report so these these are some really interesting functions which has been given to you on the notebooks to play around with the power bi so why don't you go ahead and try these functions out and do let me know what else you want me to consider in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you